teaching our kids. The shocking fact is, if you look at the calendar, I'm, I'm willing to share the calendar to anyone who wants it. If you add all the dates together, they will spend more than two and a half months teaching our future generation, our kids. Bisexual, homosexual, castration, anything you can, any type of sex. Two and a half months, our kids. How come they don't emphasize in teaching STEM, right? Science, technology, and all that stuff. Why would they spend two and a half months teaching our kids sexual behavior? I don't think we need to be taught that because that's for our parents. And then for human history, it seems like we'll keep on multiplying. I think we should be doing good. We don't need to teach us all this kind of stuff. But if you think deeply, what they're teaching, what they're teaching, we will end up with no future. Think about when you're, if you have a kid who's a teenager, go to school, say, hey, you can change your sex. Can your teenager change his sex? Can, can he or she have a future generation? It will be none. How about abortion? None. Right, how about castration, medical intervention, all that stuff? Every single one of those policies will lead to no future. Why well, we're here? We're here not just for us, also our future, correct? So, government is only here to only do two things, right? Serve and protect. They're not serving, they're not protecting. As Teresa, you know, my dear sister said earlier, $950 they can do in California. With the inflation, what's going on? You think they will not increase that number? You think? I have seen many, many reports because I do get sheriff reports as well. Those who, if you have a hundred people go to your office and rob your plane, that they don't even get to, to be reported anymore on TV or newspaper because that's a common occurrence. Think about a hundred people go to your office and rob you clean. Can you tell me any government agency say, well, I can help you with, with the payment for your next month or your inventory. Do you, can you name one government agency who's gonna help you? I bet you you will not buy any. Because I couldn't buy any myself. So if they cannot guarantee our future, they cannot guarantee your safety, it's time to get rid of all of them, right? I'm not, you know, here's my hierarchy of uh, loyalty. My first loyalty is God. My second loyalty is you. My party loyalty probably falls in bed. I put my family in between. That's my priority. In my 12 and a half years serving as a council member, as a mayor twice, I have fulfilled 100% of my promise. I actually have put my former neighbor who saw me and the people live in Walnut. You can go back and see all the things I promise. I fulfill every single one of them. And it is my promise, when I get to Congress, I'm gonna support each and every one of you. Because without you, I'm nothing. You're the boss. They're not supposed to be the boss. I wanna talk a little bit about the presidential election, just a little bit. The most unpopular vice president in the history, I believe, now become one of the most popular. How does that happen? She's the one who contributed the $950 we've been robbed. She's the one. So when you have Democratic friends, just put them aside. Or you have family, come on, come on. She was very unpopular. She's the one, who, do you want to support her? Do you want to support that party? I'm, I'm being very serious with you. If you have a friend who's gonna vote for them, please pull them aside. Understand their logic. Because when I had an event the other day, last Monday, Dennis Prager, who was very famous and, and you know, one of the most famous uh, Jewish commentator, he said this, if you believe a man can give birth and menstruate, something is wrong here in your head. So if your friends, who's gonna vote for them, who's gonna believe that men, if you see a man with a big tummy, maybe he just had a big dinner, that that man can give birth, something's wrong here, you need to see a doctor. Your friends need to see a doctor. I'm, I'm being very serious. This is worse than a king don't wear any clothes. 
but that's what they're teaching your kids. That's what they're teaching your future generation. Can you have a Supreme Court justice? A Supreme Court justice cannot define men and the woman. So when it comes to your important issues, do you think she's gonna decide based on her knowledge or she's gonna decide based on her party? When you have somebody in law, who's not gonna follow the law? Who's gonna follow their party leaders? When you give her more stuff, doing you a favor, right? Or root in your favor. So there will be not be any justice. I'm saying it very seriously. So what I want you to do now is when you go home, pull out your phone and record something that you absolutely cannot stand in the current situation. Send to all your friends. I'm sure each of you will have 150 friends. Make sure those 150 friends do the same thing to their friends. How do you verify? When they send it to a friend, please give it to me. When you do that, we will win every single election. Will you, will you put the, the people in politics in check? Next time they won't do it because they want to stay in power, right? They will walk that balance very diligently. That's the only way we can, not saving our country, saving ourselves, saving our future generations. So what you need to do again is take your phone, record something you don't like, send it, and have your friends, call your friends aside. Are you, who are you voting for? You're not voting? I'm gonna twist your arm. Please better vote. Why do you vote this way? Let's walk in, let's walk the logic. And once you have that, they'll realize, oh yeah, maybe something, maybe what I'm thinking was not right. That's what you need to do. And then with the people who say, I don't care about politics, you ask them, do you breathe air? Do you breathe air? The air you breathe is actually controlled by politics. How about your mind? It's controlled by politics. How about your wallet? It's controlled by politics. If you don't get involved in politics, even if you cannot vote. Even if you cannot vote. You better get involved. Why does all these people coming from across the border? I saw a posting. A posting. This woman went to the supermarket, she forgot to bring her receipt home. On her receipt, there's $13,000 left on her account. She is not legal. She is undocumented immigrant. How can she receive this much money on our government? That's not government's money. That's all our money. How can she receive that much money? And then we have so many homeless on the streets. So think about that. Do that. Again, we will win every single time. God bless you.